Page 48, my heart at thy sweet voice. Figuring wise, for the most part, okay. I'll change it because it suggests a couple of things. For the right hand, really about the only thing I have to say is on page 49, last line, at the bottom of the page, they're saying a one, two, one. I don't like that, okay? You can figure it that way if you want, there's nothing wrong with it, I just don't like it. I'm gonna go here, start with a one, and rather than a two, I'm gonna go with a three. That's a three, two. And then I'm going to put a 1 on the thumb, the thumb on the F. So I can put a 2 on the A, 3, and then 4, 5 for the two C's. I like to use different figures for the same note. In the left hand, take a look at the fingering they're suggesting on page 49, second line. The first measure, you have a C, and then a chord. And then another, the first inversion chord. It's still a C chord, this is the first inversion. Following that up with the last two measures, same line, it's an A. A minor chord. Okay, the second inversion, by the way, and then, okay. When you're playing inversions of chords like this in pieces, there's another way to do this, all right? And the, the idea is we try not to move the hands in piano playing any more than we have to. Because every time you move a hand, it gets tricky. Even a simple move can be tricky. You, know, you probably figured that out on your own already. So when on these chords, the first measure of the second line and the second measure of the chords here, I'm going to recommend you play that chord with the 5-4-2 fingers. Because that way you can play the next chord with the four and two on the same notes and you're just putting the thumb up. It's like an extended chord, okay? Except we're just playing the bottom three and then the top three at the same time. So it's we're not really moving the hand. If you can get into the habit of doing that kind of thing, you will be so much further along later on when things get tough. Uh, so recommend it. Same thing with the A minor chord. Those last two chords, the last measure here. Do a 5, 3, 2 on the first one. And then the 3, 2, 1. It's like this. This is the extended position for that inversion. And you're simply playing the bottom notes and the top notes. So. And I recommend that. Minor things to point out. Just so you know, okay, you probably know it already, I'm just going to point it out anyway. On page 48, second line, in the left hand, I'm talking about the third measure. You have the F D, and the F and the G. That F and G are tied over to the next measure, so don't play them again. You're going to hold it down for the four counts. One, two, three, four, tied to. And that happens in several places where it's tied across a bar line like that. Just make sure you hold it down. As far as the pedaling goes, same as we've been doing in the past, uh, like at the very beginning, you're going to push the notes down and then pedal. If you don't like the word push, I'm sorry, I just talk as a talk. You, you know how to yeah, work those notes, yeah. And I'm going to lift the pedal up as I play the second beat in the second measure. Because it's the same phrase, there's no break in the sound, so it Right? Pedal comes up. Then the left hand comes up when I play the third beat. Because that's a rest there. And that gets two counts. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And that happens all over. So practice that coordination of uh, pedal up and then left hand up and connect the right hand and uh, over on page 49, going from the third line to the fourth line. Okay, the last two measures of the third line, you have the pedal down. When you go to the fourth line, lift the pedal up with the hand so we get a break in the sound because it's between phrases.
the last line is all overlap paddled, you can do that, it's not a problem. In the last two measures of this, in the left hand, we have those chords again, the inversions. We have the root chord, the first inversion. Again, finger it so it's an extended fingering pattern. So in the next to the last measure in the on the chord, you're playing five four two, and then for the last measure, it's four two one. So you're not moving your hand. Now, if you're really really little and your hands aren't big enough, you can't do that. You can't stretch an octave yet. Then you have pretty much have to move your hand. But I'm talking about assuming your hands are big enough. At the top of page 49, the last measure, they're recommending you lift the pedal at the beginning of the measure. So in the measure before, to have it down. They're recommending when you play the G, you lift the pedal up. It's up to you. You can leave it down for the whole measure if you want. I don't see a lot of difference. I kind of like having the sound go all the way through. Just make sure you lift it up before you go to the next phrase. So it's up to you. I'll probably keep it down. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll find out when I get there. On page 49 in the third line down. The first measure, you know, the melody, of everything's fine. I would recommend a third finger on the F. Rather than a 2. the pedal up with the second or with the second chord, yeah with the third beat. Then the dotted line tells you the melodies goes down. That's, that's melody in the second measure there. This is a slow piece. You're gonna bring out the melody which is in the right hand throughout. And watch that pedaling carefully. Okay, you can do the dynamics. They're giving you at the beginning the dynamics. They don't really need to do that. The MF for the right hand for the melody is all you need. You should know the accompaniments under that. You know, uh, MP, you could actually play the accompaniment softer than that if you wanted. Just bring out the melody. You'll find recordings of this on YouTube. So you get an idea how it sounds. They may not be this arrangement, but you'll get an idea of how it sounds. So, 4-4 four, four time, I'll give you four counts and we'll play it together. Hands where? The right hand is here. Yep. <clears throat> Left hand's here. Foot's on the pedal. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Go. 